फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ ट्वेंटी इज ऑलरेडी ओवर विच मीन इज ओनली वन सेवेंटी डेज लेफ्ट फॉर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव टू एंड दैट इनफ टाइम फॉर यू टू लर्न अ स्किल practice enough and make your first 50000 rupees a month make your first 1 lakh rupees a month hi everyone i'm ishan sharma and today i'm going to show you five amazing courses that i think everyone should do if you think that you are a average student if you think that you want to become better if you want to go to the next level these are the five courses that everyone should be taking no matter if you are into computer science if you are doing ca if you are doing any other field you have to dedicate it yourself and take these five courses for the betterment of your career if you want to boost your career this video is going to help you out these courses are going to be completely free they will give you a certificate these are from the most renowned brands out there for example harvard for example google you have hubspot you have coursera you have udemy you have yale university all of these courses are taken by hundreds and thousands of students every single year and have helped them to become a better person in their career if that makes sense make sure that you hit the like button and subscribe and let's have a look at the first course and the skill of the first course is very important in a world where everyone is running behind the shiny thing it's very important to focus on intent to know what do you really want in life and this course will help you out with it it's called the science of well being the science of well being is an amazing course taken by yale professor lori santos and she basically goes and talks about the psychology of happiness what really makes you happy what exactly do you need to do in your life with which you will get sustained happiness not just a quick dopamine burst so she talks about misconceptions about happiness why our expectations are so bad how can we overcome our biases stuff that really makes us happy and the one that does not putting strategies into practice there are so many challenges that you will go through it's like a sit and chat kind of a course so there are people around her sitting and talking about different things she's asking questions she's asking you questions there'll be plenty of mcqs that you can find and with this you'll basically get an idea for how to approach happiness and how to make better decisions in your career sometimes we just make a decision because everyone else is wanting to do the same while it's important to take a step take a pause and then evaluate what do you really want from life and this course will help you with it so once you have the awareness the intention and the know how about happiness we can now move on to actually learning skills that will be valued in your life in your career let's move on to that the second course is taken by harvard professor david mellon and i think everyone should take this course it's called cs50 by harvard it's the introduction to computer science and its applications the way it works is this course it's a 13 video playlist about 2 hours per lecture and every lecture goes into the depth and talks about the basics of computer science how does logic really work what are the different programming languages how are apps being built from scratch how can you write algorithms what are the different data structures and algorithms that you can learn to effectively search for data to find some particular information how does memory really work how do you store data in databases how, what is the programming language that will help you get started and write code at scale how do you you know query data if you want to have a particular information from a big database how do you get that it talks about all of that cs50 is an amazing youtube channel that can help you learn computer science from scratch that everyone should take up have a look at this the first one they introduce you to the idea of flow programming so brick by brick drag and drop you use scratch to learn how to do the basics of programming so once you are done with that once you understand the basics of how to write logic then you can move ahead and learn about this language called c then you learn about arrays then you learn about algorithms then you learn about memory data structures python artificial intelligence sql you learn about html css javascript if you want to start making websites you learn about flask to help you set up the server then you complete this entire series i think honestly this one course taught me so much when i first took it in 2019 and i think everyone should take it this will give you a deeper sense of how computer science works for how everything around you operates and david mellon is just the best teacher that i have ever seen he explains the most complex topics in the most simple 
way possible with tons and tons of examples. So this one is a no brainer that you should absolutely take up. The next course that we have is from the best digital marketing company out there. It's called HubSpot and the course is from HubSpot Academy called Digital Marketing Certification. Now, this I think is like the mecca when it comes to digital marketing. You go on over here and you sign up for this free course and you basically get a certification and you get certified by HubSpot Academy once you go through the material of this course. So you get a certificate, you go down here, you learn about the basics of digital marketing. In 2025, in an era where brands are coming right, left and center, but they're looking for efficient digital marketers, this course is going to give you the fundamental information for how do you get started in this field. So the basics of digital marketing, building a content creation framework, how to find SEO strategy that fits your business, improving the website performance, creating quality blog content your audience loves, how to create a successful video marketing strategy. This has pretty much everything. Developing a social media strategy, intro to paid search advertising, creating a high performing email, and this will have plenty of questions and MCQs that you can sign up for. You can test out how well you are at all of these questions. You will learn all the basics of digital marketing, be it video, be it SEO, be it just understanding website performance. You learn all of that and you learn from the best people out there. And this platform has access to tons and tons of courses. But that's not all. HubSpot Academy comes with tons of other courses that you can take up to get even more certifications that you can see over here. So you can explore Academy, you can take more certifications for completely free and you can learn to become a better marketer. So, so you have a social media certification, you have a content marketing certification, you have an inbound marketing certification. It just goes on and on and on and on, right? This is extremely valuable in 2025. If you are someone who's interested in digital marketing, I would take that first course and then all of these following courses later and then start exercising practicing. That is very important. But hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, make sure that you hit the like button and subscribe. I keep coming with these videos and more every single week to help you become a better person overall. Okay. The next course is super important because it comes from Google and this will teach you a very important concept, especially in 2025. And that is machine learning. Around you, there are so many algorithms working, so many things that you don't even think much about, right? Everything from your Google Maps telling you where to go and checking the shortest distance possible for it to you trying to ask a question to Siri by your voice and it understanding it. All of this is happening because of one very important concept called machine learning. And there is a great demand in the job market for efficient machine learning engineers or AI engineers. All you have to do is to understand the different techniques in machine learning and then go out there and execute every single day. Now this course is completely free and it will give you all the hands-on practice, will give you visualizations, will give you all the important variations of algorithms that you can deploy to learn and solve a particular problem. So it starts off with the introduction to machine learning. Then you go on and learn about linear regression. You learn about logistic regression. You learn about classification problems. You learn about working with numerical data, categorical data, data sets, generalization, overfitting. You go down, you learn about neural networks. Neural networks is what governs pretty much everything that you see around yourself. Large language models, which is a new model that they've just added. Real world ML, you learn about auto ML, ML fairness, production ML systems. There's just so much for you to learn from this one course. You have to take this up. They have so much modules over here that you can just keep scrolling and learn more and more about. I think this course is a great starting point. And once you are going through this, then you can also sign up for the Andrew NG Stanford Coursera course on machine learning and learn more in depth about it. But this is the basic course that everyone can take without even having a science degree, without even having a math background. The next course is all about generative AI. I think generative AI is a skill which everyone should know today. Everyone should understand how to use particular tools and how to make the best use of it in your day-to-day -day life. And if you want to do that, deep learning AI has just the best courses for you to get started. Again, all of these courses are completely free. You go down over here and you can start enrolling for particular courses that pique your interest. For example, if I were you, I would definitely check out this course called Vibe Coding 101 with Replit. Replit is a free platform where you can go in and you can start building apps from scratch by just writing what you want. 
that is the best part about it and you can even deploy apps and you can run your own startup with that app itself. I would even check out the generative AI for everyone course because with this you'll understand the basics of how generative AI works. You will understand it from the best teacher in machine learning and AI which is Andrew NG. You learn about the application of AI in various different fields like business, like academics and you will understand how does it really work and how it can help you in productivity. That is the best part about this course but in general deep learning AI has a ton of courses that you can enroll in and learn so much about the world of generative AI. You don't even need to you know sign up for all of them just take up one and learn about it. For example AI Python for beginners. How can you learn Python in the age of AI as a beginner? That's what this course is all about and again these are short courses this one is 10 hours long but most others are two hours, three hour long courses that you can take at the comfort of your home. I want to give one bonus course for everyone who's watching this video till the very end. You need to get this amazing course which will help you learn a very important skill called communication skills. If you want to be a better communicator, if you want to be better at public speaking, then this is a free Udemy course that can help you do that. How to speak to anyone and be fearless in less than 55 minutes. I think for most people who are trying to hire employees in the job market, your ability to communicate the idea is much more important than you can think. Most people that sign up for interviews, they only focus on the technical concepts while completely disregarding their ability to explain those concepts, their ability to articulate their thoughts and that is often what doesn't let them get the job. So if you take a look at this amazing Udemy course which is by the way for free, it will teach you the basic blocks of communicating effectively. So how do you break fear and take control of the room? How do you maintain your energy so that everyone wants to listen to you. What really matters when you are trying to communicate yourself which is the tonality of your voice and it's also the body language through which you are communicating with people. The words that you are speaking beyond the basics and you learn the ninja skills possible. So evaluate, match and bring charisma, power, energy, caring, be brief and to the point. All of these points are really important and you learn the importance of it through this course right here. Then you have some more killer tips that you can sign up for and in about one hour you know the basic fundamental concepts of communicating effectively. Then you can go on, experiment, practice, take your shot as much as possible and that will make you a better communicator and you will feel confidence inside of you. When I started speaking in front of the public, I was super shy and underconfident and I was always anxious. What if I mess up? What if I am not able to do it properly? But today I go in front of audiences with 2000 people, 5000 people and I can literally govern attention. I can bring them I can ask questions to them and I can retain their attention in that room. I'm not the best at it but I'm learning every single day and this skill is super super valuable. That's all from me today. These were the five courses that every person should take in 2025. I hope this was valuable. The links will be in the description of this video. Plus I also shared with you one bonus course which will teach you the importance of communication skills and public speaking. I'll see you all in the next video. If you have any questions let me know below in the comment section. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.